for today's cup of coffee. Hopefully we've got the microphone issue solved because <clears throat> the noise was still there, which I'm sure everybody, you know, recognized. It's like, damn, what is that? I had something on the back of the microphone that was turned on when it shouldn't have been. So hopefully, hopefully, this one will have a little bit better audio quality. That's okay. It wasn't okay. okay with me. I'm like, what the hell is that? Nah, that was like that one time I had like some, I, I think it was like this weird f filter on and it freaked my ass out. <laughs> I had that happen. So I, I, you know, those people that get scared that by something jumping up behind them or on right. their face, right. like, yeah, that, that's happened to me. Oh God. The jump scares. Yeah. Because I, like, l legit thought something was crawling on my face or something. That's horrible. It's like people that have their screen names, and it looks like a fly is there. And it's fascinating, but you, cause it really looks like there's a fly on the computer screen. And it's like, how the hell did you do that? It's funny. It's people yeah. that have much better tech skills than I do. Yeah. Which, you know... I am a digital immigrant. I have accepted this. The people have freaked out. Well, I would say so. Those filters are... Some of them are pretty cool, but some of them are just really... I don't know. Not Mine, cool. Mine's just like a quick, like, huh, oh. <laughs> like, that's pretty much it. It's not like a... Like a... Ah! Or like... Or the hands flailing and shit whatever you know all that <laughs> screaming and all that but no my, it's just the <laughs> then it's okay uh, it's the fun uh, the, the controlled fear it's like a freeze up we've got uncontrolled fear in our world today and it's fighting against it totally completely our article is not going to help you fight against it except through awareness and knowledge and preparedness. Yeah. Was that enough of an ominous intro? Should I do more? <laughs> this comes from Daily Mail. And why, is, that, why, why the ominous? Uh, on, 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 <laughs> onomatopoeia. Okay. I can't say that right now. <laughs> Onomatopoeia. What? Ominous or onomatopoeia? Uh, it's both. Okay. Anyhow, <sighs> Daily Mail. I don't know why. My brain ain't working it's right okay. now, seriously. It's okay. I'm blaming the, the comment for many things. I'm blaming certain people. I didn't do anything. Not you. I don't know who said it. It ain't about you. Bye. This show's about you, but it, 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 it's it, not. It, I'm just reporting. I'm just the reporter. Are we doing this? Are, are we doing this? Are you the host? Yes. Am, 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 am I the co-host? Yes. But you're the main host. I'm the one that read it. You're the main reporting. host. You're the main host. I'm the one that does So the you're work. the star of the show. You're the star of the show. <laughs> so there you go. That. There you go. Are we going to do this? Yes. All right. Daily Mail by Will Potter. And this was January the 27th of 2023. And this is ominous. And it says that Chat GPT, the revolutionary AI software taking the internet by storm, could soon put millions out of work by uh, making white collar jobs obsolete, experts have warned. And the system has such promising capabilities that Microsoft recently announced a new multi-year, multi-billion dollar investment to grow the tech. Mm -hmm. And the firm's backing of the artificial intelligence bot comes as it lays off 10,000 employees and experts warn AI is making well-paid workers increasingly vulnerable. And Ping Ching Shai, an associate dean in the Department of Computing and Information Sciences at Rochester Institute of Technology, stated, quote, AI is replacing the white collar workers, end quote. I believe she, that. Yeah. She told the New York Post, quote, I don't think anyone can stop that. This is not crying wolf. The wolf is at the door, end quote. Oh, no. People can stop that. I, 
since it was released for free to the public in November by company OpenAI, the chatbot caused a stir online and amassed uh, close to a million users in its first week. The system is trained on a huge data set and is designed to continually improve itself, allowing it to generate answers to nearly any question. Through a simple text prompt, the tech has the ability to work through almost any problem it is faced with, with varying accuracy depending on the task. The tool passed several law school exams when University of Minnesota professors put it to the test where it averaged a passing C-plus grade on the student papers. Hell, there's peoples that can't amass a C-plus on some of these papers. Yeah. And in the law exam essay questions, the bot was able to accurately recite legal rules and correctly describe cases. Chat GPT also recently scored higher than many humans on an MBA exam at Penn's Elite Wharton School where it received a respectable B- grade. Damn. Yeah. And the professor who administered the test said the chat a bot respectable B minus. Yeah. Said the chat bot was able to do professional tasks such as writing software code and preparing legal documents. For all those people that didn't want to learn how to code, they don't have to worry about it now. No. The tool's capabilities have led experts to warn the continually improving system could spell doom for numerous industries. Among the job fields that could soon become dominated by the artificial intelligence includes finance, graphic design, and education. One industry that is in particular danger is tech and software design, a field that has already been rocked in recent times as Silicon Valley has undergone massive staff layoffs. Microsoft's sacked nearly 5% of its workforce as 10,000 employees were left out of work this month. I think that was, was this January? Is that what I said? Uh, yeah, January. Yeah. At the same time, the firm committed billions into the future of chat GPT. The company said in a statement, quote, we are announcing the third phase of our long-term partnership with OpenAI through a multi-year, multi-billion dollar investment to accelerate AI breakthroughs to ensure these benefits are broadly shared with the world, end quote. Mm-hmm. That means other people in other nations, they're going to be unemployed too. The new wave of funding comes after Microsoft already plowed a billion dollars into OpenAI in 2019. Gil Loria, a a technology strategist for a finance firm, D.A. Davidson, said the move showed the company was banking on AI to drive growth. Loria told Yahoo Finance, I didn't say Yahoo, I said Yahoo this time, I got it right this time. (sighs) <sighs> yeah, even when you were proofreading the first time, you said you. I did, I did. Uh, quote, you. <laughs> it tells you a lot that within a week of announcing pretty substantial layoffs, Microsoft is also announcing a, substan- a substantial rather, investment in open Sustain. AI. It tells you that that's where they think a lot of the future growth for Microsoft can come from and that the technology that OpenAI AI is developing can drive meaningful improvements to a broad set of products for them, end quote. Yeah. Microsoft initiated the layoffs earlier this month after <clears throat> citing a negative economic outlook and slowing consumer demand. CEO Satya Nadella said in a company memo, quote, we're also seeing organizations in every industry and geography exercise caution as some parts of the world are in a recession and other parts are anticipating one, end quote. The firm had previously recorded huge growth during the COVID-19 pandemic when workers and businesses turned to its products amid the work-from-home boom. But its recent layoffs come after Microsoft already announced in July of 2022 that it was sacking 1% of its workforce and significantly slowing staff hiring. The company's revenue fell by a shocking 12% in a year as it recorded only $51.9 billion in revenue during the second quarter of last year while expecting to rake in $52.4 billion. 
Yeah, well. Uh huh. Those are just words to me. I have no yeah. concept of that amount. The cost cutting measures have taken over a slew of tech companies in recent months, including Amazon, Apple, and Meta. In November, the Facebook parent company announced that it would cut 13% of its workforce, over 11,000 employees, as it Fuck faced you, Facebook. mounting Fuck you, costs. Meta. And a weak advertising market. Meta, once worth more than $1 trillion, is now valued at $256 billion after losing more than 70% of its value last year alone. Sucker well, that burn. came to for the fact that everybody found out that they were a total shit company. Uh-uh. Zuckerberg said in a message to employees, according to Routers, quote, not only has an online commerce returned to its prior trends, but the macroeconomic downturn, increased competition, and ads signal loss that have caused our revenue to be much lower than I'd expected. I got this wrong, and I take responsibility for that, end quote. Now, let's face the things that have come to light about Microsoft, Zuckerberg, all these people, New World Order peoples, globalist peoples, reptilians, reportedly, allegedly, that uh, has been found out since 2020. Mm. You've got collusion that's been going on. You've got disinformation. You've got suspicion. Impression of information. It's like, all do, that stuff. do we really want to be listening to these people right now? Exactly. Especially Zuckerberg of mm-hmm. all the people. Mm-hmm. So, but the reason we've got the the grimace over there, the McDonald's, and then you've got people that squalling about a minimum wage, fifteen twenty dollars an hour, and guess what? The robots are going to take that over. Everybody saw this coming. But what are people going to be doing for jobs? Don't know. That's a good question. Seriously, what are yeah. people going to be doing for money? Yeah. That is a damn good question. That's the reason some of them were wanting to have this uh, some type, I can't remember what it was, basic income where they were uh, giving people so so much money to stay home. That shouldn't... No! Well, it's the, you know, our, our, this is giving up humanity. This is giving up society. Because who are the overlords that's taking care of these AI chatbots and stuff? The 1% of the 1%. Yeah. And this is the Matrix thing. And that was just like Zuckerberg with the uh, meta stuff. And the, oh God, I can't think of the name of it, those goggle things. Um, Oculus? Yeah. And it very much is getting more like the Matrix every day. The AR... AR... AR Virtual stuff. reality is yeah, what it is. VR. Yeah. To sit there, you can have a bag of Cheetos. AR you can, is alternate reality. Yeah, that too. You can, um, you know, play, play in the alternate universe. A lot of people do that anyhow, which is kind of frightening. Yeah. How many people sit in front of a screen day in and day out, day out and can't function in the real world? As far as connecting with actual humans. You know, it's all texting or whatever it is that they have these supposed close alliances and allegiances and i'm not saying you can't form i mean there's good bonds with people online but it's not the same as having somebody sitting there with you there's still people who go out like obviously people go out on a day-to-day and meet up with other people because that's just how humanity is because people humanity is so is a social creature yes so they need each other they do, but where that link has been broken, that's one of the reasons that there has been such an increase in mental health issues. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's just, you know, how do we reverse this with the AI and stuff? You form a parallel economy. Yeah, but also sometimes the current system that we have in placement 
in certain cities, it just doesn't allow. Well, that's why you get out of some of those cities if people possibly can. And like I said, it is a matter of forming a parallel whatever. Yeah. And I think, like, and it's when you're, like, truly homeless, it's extremely rough getting out of that. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's like they have such a problem with that right now and that you've got people that have mental health like, problems, drug addiction problems, which a lot of times that's, you know, co-occurring. It's like, okay, you need a bank account to get the job. Um, but to get the bank account, you need a... You need an address. There actually is there's ways that you can do that. There are, like if it's a rehab center or something like that, they will allow you to use their address when you're trying to get started. And a lot of times they wor- will work with employers. So there are some, you know, there are some organizations that are trying to bridge the gap with some of these things. But we're talking about the people who are still stuck mm-hmm. on the streets, like that ha- that still have no one. There and are, nothing. like I said, there are organizations that do try to help some of these people. Yeah. But some of the people are content living like they're, you know, it's something we can't fathom. Some of them. For most of us, it's it's a huge, huge fear. Well, those are those. Those are one thing, but the ones that truly do need the help, those people, some of those people are truly slipping through the cracks. Sure they are. But like I said, in some of these urban areas and stuff, there are, are organizations that these people can reach out to. And there is a YouTube channel. Even in this area. Oh, yeah. Um, Especially in this area but in this area let me this there's a youtube channel that is called soft white underbelly and if you're not familiar with that go and look it up and i think they're california based Mm -hmm. but they do these incredible interviews with people in that area and the gentleman that does this channel he does everything he possibly can to help these people get a second chance and it's heartbreaking when somebody will be doing well and then they relapse. Yeah. That was part of what, you know, when I was a mental health counselor. And it just, it tires you up. And after a while, mental health field, you've got about a five-year burnout span. That's a reason you've got such a high turnover of employees. Because it just, it, it breaks you down after a while. You've got to get out of it for, you know, your own sanity. Yep. You know, but in our area, there are some churches that are willing to help. We actually do have um, we have uh, community services boards, who is what they're called, mm. which mental health and that helps hook you up with other services, uh, even as far as some housing. Um, you know, you have therapy, whether it's drug addiction counseling, whether it's mental health counseling. They can get you in touch with food services and, you know, as far as helping you file for SSI and uh, food stamps and everything like that. Yeah. I've seen that firsthand. So there are some caring people, you know. But it's it's crazy. I'm afraid it's going to get crazier. Um, and a few cups back, we had been talking about this new, it was called Vial E. Instead of the Doll E, which was the computer art program or the AI program, this is a voice thing that could, within three seconds, mimic somebody's voice and recreate it. And how does that surprise anybody that it's already been abused? Ugh. And my God, here is I'll, I'll provide a link for this also. Uh, and it says a new AI voice tool is already being used 
to deep fake celebrity audio clips. Yeah, what didn't you say? Um, yeah, it says that one clip reportedly featured a voice that sounded like Emma Watson, and that was Hermione on the Harry Potter thing. Yeah, her, she played Hermione Granger on the movies. Right, it, it sounded like her reading parts of Mein Kampf. That's, yeah, that's not that's not good. No, Mm-mm. I would seriously. That's that's disturbing. Not right. Disturbing, and we knew how easily that could be misused if you had the uh, you know propaganda machine that calls itself the news and the media rolling out with an audio clip that one of these world leaders or whoever had said something horrible. Yeah. I mean, we're we all living on a powder keg right now. Yeah. So that can make it so much worse. We are we are sitting on on a mine. Mm-hmm. On a landmine right mm-hmm. now. And it's okay. Because God is still God all by himself. Yeah. Pancake mine. <laughs> Don't stick your face on it. It'll be all right. It'll work itself through one way or the other. Not edible. There's things that you can do something about, and there's things that you can't do anything about, and those things you can't do anything about, you can do something about it's your response like, It's just to like, those my things. voice is mine. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like, what? It's like we own our fucking voice dude Mm -hmm. stop that and that's and the thought of ai taking jobs completely away from people that's not cool with me either no and that shouldn't be cool with anyone no it should be like a cool novelty thing like like you know be like oh you want to go to this robot hotel or whatever but like that's just like you know it's well, only one thing out of how many? Right. And, and part of this, this is, is an agenda being fulfilled that has taken generations. But it has, even with that, it has come out more suddenly than people realize that it would. When you have people that no longer are taught to be responsible, accountable adults. When you've had the helicopter parenting that you've got the, you know, adults who still have the mental acuity of a 12-year-old. You know, they don't want responsibility. They don't want to take responsibility. Why should they? You know, if they're still being babied and stuff. Uh, Then you've got this other generation that, my God, the decadence is just ridiculous. I mean, these people cannot form full deep thoughts because their brains have been so bombarded with the internet and stuff like that and and it's this information overload it's information but it's yeah we have the one percent of the one percent but that's also again with choice and and self-control now you could take you know, three hours and watch these seven second bits of uh, TikTok or whatever and learn nothing except to amuse yourself for a few seconds. Or you can take 15 minutes and read stoicism or something that deep thought that you have to truly think about. Mm -hmm. And that's how you learn to do those skills. That's one thing about Jordan Peterson, and he's not a perfect man. And what is it that people are looking for? There was only one Christ. They're looking for other people to be perfect, and then when they find out they have a flaw, they go all to hell. Yeah. And it's like, that. stupid. That's an unrealistic expectation. Right. You know, be human and be proud of being human. Yeah. Warts and all. Warts and all. But Jordan Peterson has been the father figure to millions that did not have a proper father figure. And he teaches people to be responsible, to be accountable, you know, Mm -hmm. to think well. 
And there's other people out there that are doing the same thing. So, anyhow, the robot overlords, I am not a fan. They're cold-blooded, just like the reptilians. Yeah. Yeah. Final thoughts? It's a whole bunch of fuckery. That's uh -huh. what it is, and that's it. It is. So, if you've had experiences with <clears throat> paranormal, the supernatural, encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, weird, disturbing shit... You can send us an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. And the link to the articles and stuff will be there in the description box. Yes, and if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Thank you all and have a good. Know that you're loved. Yes. And uh, prayers are still appreciated. I'm still, this stuff is dragging out much longer than I wanted it to watch the episode of I'm fine so it's part three part <laughs> four yeah Anyhow. we finally rewatched the suds episode last night yeah it was fun spongebob when when everything gets just overwhelming watch some of the old spongebob mm -hmm. episodes for real yeah very healing anyhow know that it's you're loved pure. it is pure it is pure you're loved and Lord Will, and we'll see you on the next go. Yeah. Bye. Bye.